Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. Please support me on Patreon so that I may be able to buy materials to keep bringing you intriguing videos on science and geology. I encourage you to watch on YouTube my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting. Today's experiment is part two of two videos that I've done on quantum mechanics. I encourage you to watch part one so that you understand today's demonstration. Today's demonstration consists of viewing the wave property of light and the particle property of light. So let's get to some of the theory and then the demonstrations. This was discussed in part one, but a review here. I have a laser. Here's my laser on a laboratory jack. And in the laser, I have a diffraction grating. This is my diffraction grating. The diffraction grating consists of a piece of plastic where there are two transparent slots that light will travel through separated by an opaque slot where light can travel through and two opaque slots on each other sides. We expect the laser beam to shine photons of light that will travel through the opaque side, through the transparent sides only, and land on the detector piece of paper, forming two land, two bands of light. But that's not what we're going to see. What we're going to see is a pattern like this, where we have light and dark, light and dark. The light is where the photons traveling through the double slit seem to go through the opaque uh, film and landing on the detector piece of paper which is extremely strange and forming also lines on the other sides of that bright spot in the middle showing the property of the wave-like property of light which happens to be this The coherent light from the laser beam travels to the double slit and travels through each double slit forming waves like waves on a pond. And it hits the detector piece of paper forming a light band where it's constructively interfering and destructively interfering as a black band. So let's get to the demonstration. I turn on my laser beam and I'm adjusting it for the double slit. And there we go. The laser beam is hitting the double slit and it's traveling to the piece of paper. And as I hope you can see, although it's difficult on camera, the big white, the big green dot right behind the first opaque slot on the double slit hitting there and on each side if you can see it on camera there it is white and dark bands of light I have another demonstration showing the particle behavior of light I have a powder of zinc sulfide luminescent phosphor sitting under this light bulb, shining light on it. Photons from the light bulb are being emitted and hitting the atoms in the luminescent phosphor. 
the electrons and the luminescent phosphor being hit by the photons have electrons that increase in energy from the light. Those electrons jump from a higher from a lower orbital to a higher orbital. When they do so, they then return to the ground state, releasing a quanta of energy of light, which is quantized, meaning it's a certain amount of light that they emit, and a certain frequency of the light range, which is green, and they are not excited then. Watch when I turn out the light bulb. It glows. Those electrons in the glowing luminescent phosphor are emitting light by traveling to the higher orbital of energy to the lower energy state having after been excited by the light in the light bulb. And I hope you learned something from today's demonstrations and found it interesting. Light behaves both as a wave and as a particle. Very strange indeed. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals always reminding you in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals to keep looking down.